Please just comment membership cancels. And now I'll be doing my vlog, my rock vlog. So basically, um, what happened yesterday was a no, not yesterday, a couple of days ago, it's taking like a whole day to recover. Seriously, I woke up at like midday yesterday. So I set my alarm for eight and I thought, hmm, I might as well sleep until nine. Went back to sleep and I woke up at midday and it really bugged me because half the day was already gone. Um, anyway, so a couple of days ago, I went uh, with my university to the Isle of Wight, to Whitecliff Bay. You guys may have been there. Um, I'd say it was okay. I mean, it was, it was a bit cold. It was a bit cold, but I got, I had my big coat on. Uh, so I didn't have a you know, Hulkbuster coat as my friends did and I call it so I didn't get like hypothermia or anything as I did in, uh, in Bristol and it was uh, it, got, it got really sunny at the end which was, which was, it was good because it did help warm us up a little bit but for some reason all the roads are now to watch like really sharp corners and that, that made everyone in like the, the coat feel a bit seasick uh, not a bit seasick but because uh, we just kept swerving left and right and everything and it was that's quite something. Yeah, look, can I use something? Yeah. Anyway, so the, the, these are the rock samples I've got back. My parents are gonna love this when they see just how much I have. Okay, guys, so the, these are the first few rocks that I brought back. So, uh, so what happens here is that we, so we, we've got, you know, got various samples of flint. Uh, I mean, if, uh, if this if this stuff had formed at a not underwater when the chalk deposit, this sort of stuff would be known as a Charles Dunny, I believe it's pronounced. You can see it's flint here and also due to the lack of a uh, crystal structure it breaks conchoidally which form these weird uh you're gonna focus nothing happened which forms it forms these weird uh you know these weird circular uh breaks and fractures it looks nice though i mean you can get the same thing with, with obsidian yeah, okay yeah, you can see that clearly uh, you know, then they raise a bit, so some parts are lighter than others, some parts are darker. Like that one, it's a bit small. And this one I found, and it looks like a dagger. You know, I mean, obviously it wouldn't be very much used as a dagger, because it's a bit blunt. And then this one, this one's a bit weird. Basically, it seemed to recrystallize in the middle. Are you, are you gonna focus? Fo Why is this thing not further? Sweet. Okay, there you go. As you can see, it seems to have recrystallized. I'm not actually sure into what though, but it's recrystallized into something in the middle. A bit weird that. And it's also ended up you know, causing various zoning stuff around there. And this is a nice piece of chalk I found. All right? Don't, don't worry about the black stuff, I'll explain that in a minute. And then th this weird thing, basically a creature dug a hole in this. And he goes, and he goes a little bit, and he goes, you know, just that much. But so, some, so at some point, this creature must have thought, hmm, I'm going to drill straight through this thing. And I, I don't know if this thing was a bit bigger back then, but evidently it decided, hmm, well, you know, I'm too lazy to walk around it, so I'm just going to wriggle around this, so I'm just going to dig straight through it. And that black stuff that you saw there, I think it's from this, it's, it's a bit, it's just from this, but I think it's a bit of coal, this, because we found a small coal seam there, and, um... Yeah, the, I mean, most pieces are really small, so this is either a bit of charcoal, which doesn't look too much like it, or it's a bit of coal. I mean, I could always try and burn it to find out, but I ended up damaging it. Okay, so that's that's one of the big things. Okay, so the next group. Hold on. I've got to be careful. Some of these are really heavy. They can scratch the table. Okay, so here, we've got some... Sorry, we've got some... Siltstone, I think. It's, it's stained by hematite in it. There's a nice little bit of rock there, nice. I think this is some old uh, Carcedony thing. I mean, I was, I was a bit confused. And this, may, this may be a bit of bone, I don't know, a fossil, I don't know. We did find fossils now, I'll show you the guys in a minute. But, uh, yeah, it looks nice with the little banding and everything. Can you focus, camera? Thank you. Then it was this. Basically, we kept finding these rocks that were seem to be, like, embedded in, um, like this weird red... You know this weird red matrix, and so I, so and so what happens? I, 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 you know, I inquired about this, and basically it's meant to be like this hematite, uh, this hematite cement that was basically holding all these stones together. So these are a couple of stones still held in that, and then this is a bigger sample of it. You can s ignore that the white stuff that's from the chalk. I think it's in my bag. It's stained on everything. But basically, you can see all the you know there's some zoning. Sorry, there's some laminations there. You know, it's all hematite. Know what you get the stuff out of, and this one 
I'm not actually sure what it is, but there's all these little crystals here. And they said, hmm, that, might, that might be this halite, you know, salt. And I, was, I wasn't too sure. I wasn't, I'm not one of those weird jo uh, people that are going to start licking rocks. I'm not that weird. Yes. Uh huh. Anyway. Okay. So that, that, that's those two groups done. I mean, I got, I got several more of these samples, but they're not as impressive or, you know, there's, there's no point showing you a thousand of the same thing. That doesn't mean I have a thousand of the same thing. Okay. Now the fossils. So I found this big rock here, which you can see the fossils in are, are a bit evident. Basically, these are like um, bivalves, so like clamshells and everything. And you can see uh, clearly here. So you know, this is this is its side on, and basically it broke off or was damaged in the process of sorry of rock formation. Some people found there there were a couple of people who who found a an echinoid, so like a sea urchin. Okay, found a fossilized sea urchin, but instead of it being like white and everything, it was because you know how. Fossils there, and um, the bone and the calcium in them is replaced with mineral, with a crystal, you know, with, with crystal, so, you know, forms a new rock. Okay, well, they found an echinoid that had been entirely replaced with quartz. So it looked like it was a sea urchin, that was, that was, it looked like a sea urchin, but it was basically a lump of quartz, it was awesome. And these, the problem with the stuff there is that it's not proper rock there, it's, um, in Wycliffe Bay, it's more like mud, the consistency. And so this is, um, basically they found, that we found these, these, like, three large turbidity, uh, turbo, yeah, turbid, uh, turbidite uh, deposits, which is basically when it's like an under an uh, ocean landslide, and so all the, and so like all the creatures and stuff are buried in it, and so you, the problem is that it, it had the basically the consistency of mud, but you can clearly see that there are clam fossils in this, right? Okay, there you go, and then these weird things over here, there are lemon, uh, lemonite. I believe it's pronounced fossils. So like little gastropods, snails, these snails. Yeah, found a whole bunch of them. You get to basically talk about how fragile these things are. Ha this one, this one, and I think in a couple of these here, they were they were all intact when I got when I dug them out the rock. I mean it was hard because every time I tried to pick one out the rock, it would just break apart. So I had to basically get a, another, another stronger rock and start hammering on the wall, and just so I, that I could basically. You know, take out a chunk of rock, brush off a bit of few specks, and put it in here. I'm not, uh, you know, it was. I mean, the, the, and I, I'm just leaving this open here like this so you can dry out a bit so they can become a bit firmer. Because otherwise, it's, it's too fragile to move. Okay. Is that that done? Okay, now here's the big one, okay? Hold on. Just, just, just listen to this rumble. Yep, this is big. This is big, guys. Basically, this I show is I found this online on the beach, and I was like, "Oh, this is cool. What is it?" So I took it to my uh, lecturers, and they said, "Yeah, they said that this looks like it's a um, it's a basically a bunch of chalk and other stuff. Like you can find some flint in this. Let me, let me oof, yeah, I'm getting chalk everywhere now. You can find chalk, you know, all this big stuff here, and then some flint like that, and it's basically welded together." in a cement, in a, in a chalk cement. So we're not entirely sure how old this is, or if it's, you know, if it's old or new or superficial or whatever. But, you know, it's cool. It shows that, you know, that all the stuff is fused together now. Some of it's a bit bent, as you can see there. Yep. Just, we, oh, there's just this, this thing. When I put all the, well, then put all these, <coughs> sorry. When I put all these rocks in my bag, it was a nightmare because going down to the beach, uh, to, we're going down to the bay, um, there was this really slippery path that was quite steep. It was, it was very steep. And so I had to climb up. I had to climb up this with with the weight on. It was a lot of. It, it was very very much fun. Yeah, so there, there's there's just a few of the samples I took. You gonna focus? Thank you. There's a few of the samples I took from Whitecliff Bay. Of course, though, there's there's a whole bunch of like pictures and stuff I do want to show you of the place and then give my give my view on it and seeing what we learnt about it. And, and I'll do that in another video. But I, mean, I feel like this one's gone on for a bit long, and I don't want to make these uni vlogs too long as um as I. Almost accidentally did for the Bristol field trip one. I still got pictures and stuff from that. I'm gonna do something and show you just exactly what it was you we were looking at because there, there, there was some good stuff. I mean, we didn't only go to Bristol, we went to Cheddar Gorge too. And I'll show you some of the stuff we found there, including something that almost that could have killed us. But, <coughs> yeah, but, but I'll, 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 leave, I'll leave that in the, into those videos. So, you know, those, sorry, so those are all rock samples from the, uh, from the field trip to Whitecliff Bay. I'm looking forward to the ones. To uh, uh, the, uh, tomorrow and the day after, I can bring back even more rock rock samples and fossils. Yay!